Hey y'all, it's Kelly from Dixie Darlings and I'm back today with another tutorial. So y'all might notice that I'm a little dressy, I'm a little fancy today, but I feel like I wasn't gonna do this tutorial or this Tumblr justice if I didn't like bring my best red puffy sleeves and just get a little fancy for this one. So y'all, this is a Tumblr that I actually made for myself. I have had this Maryland image for probably at least two years. April from the Vinyl Cottage actually printed this off on water slide paper before I even was doing my own water slides. So I've had this image for quite some time. It literally just sat there and I was waiting on the right inspiration to hit me with it. And one night on a live in my Facebook group, I was working on a pink and black design with this beautiful Vogue foil. And so I had another Maryland image that I pulled out to put on there. And then I was like, oh my goodness, it just hit me. This black and red image with Marilyn kind of watercolored in there was gonna be perfect over the Dixie Darlings foils. And y'all, I've had these foils. I've been working with them for months and it just had never hit me until right that moment. I wanted to do a full wrap with the Dixie Darlings foils and do a gold metallic power wash over it anyway. And then when I held this image in my hand, I was like, it, it just all came together. I knew that's how I wanted to do it. So I'm by no means doing any techniques, new techniques here. Um, I just am kind of pulling them all together and I'll show y'all how I do that. So I hope that y'all enjoy it. I am obsessed with this cup. <laughs> um, it's going to be hard for me not to be my new go-to all the time because I just, I just love Marilyn anyway. And this image, I knew the minute that I saw it, I had to have that and put it on a cup. So after two years, it's finally coming together. So I will link all the products that I use in the description box below. So make sure you check out those links as well as I'll include some discount codes. So y'all make sure to check out the discount codes. Um, and then hop on over to my Dixie Darlings Facebook group, y'all. That's where I go live once a week. I'm definitely live on Sunday nights and sometimes more. We work on fun full projects. We work on all kinds of different projects. So hop over there and join us. And it's my time to get to interact and hear from y'all. And we just talk about all kinds of things, crafting and beyond. So I hope that you'll join me over there. And if you enjoy my tutorials, please hit the bell button and subscribe so you don't miss my future tutorials. And thank y'all so much for watching and I hope you enjoy it. Hey y'all, so I'm starting with a Craft Haven Skinny Straight. This is the 20 ounce from Craft Haven and it does not have a taper, it is the Skinny Straight. And I am laying a piece of double-sided adhesive sheet down around it. Um, you can cut this to the exact dimensions or a lot of times I just kind of trim it down. I believe the dimensions are eight inches in height by 9.34 is usually where I start. And then I have a little bit to trim off. So I've just made sure that it's gonna lay around the cup straight. I'm gonna fold that little edge down and then the flap, and then I'm gonna press it down. And I do go back and I'm gonna double check myself once I get this first part pressed down on the cup. So you can see I'm trying to line it up as straight as I can where it's gonna lay up pretty straight on the cup and press that down and then I do stand the cup up and I double check just to make sure that it's gonna the seam's gonna meet up and it is laying square on the cup and after I do that I'm gonna go just kind of pull that flap from underneath and just like I do my vinyl wraps I'm gonna press that double-sided adhesive tape down on the cup and I'm gonna allow the pressure of that to pull the backing off at the same time and I am gonna leave this in here just because I know a lot of you guys may or may not have seen this done before. So I'm gonna try to leave most of the process of me doing this cup in, so I apologize. Um, if you're an experienced tumbler maker, you may wanna fast forward through some of this. Um, but for the newer tumbler makers, I wanted to leave all of it in here for them. And then, like I said in the beginning, um, I will link all the products that I've used in the description box below. And I do have some discount codes included for you guys as well. So make sure if any of the products that I'm using, you can find them in the description box below. So you can see here, I've left a little bit of overlap and I'm just taking my craft knife. I'm gonna run that down through there. And then I kind of take my, my blade there and lay it flush up against the cup. And it allows you just to peel that. You can kind of see the extra just because of that tape wants to kind of be a little bit stickier and a little bit trickier than just pulling off vinyl. If you lay your blade down flat, it kind of seems to just peel that seam right off right there. So now I'm gonna go in and I'm using the Dixie Darlings foils from Southern Bell Glitter. And I'm just gonna do just like when I wrap the cup, I'm gonna pull the other side of this double-sided adhesive off, but I'm just gonna do the first little flap right here. I'm just gonna peel a little flap up. I'm gonna fold it back 
and I'm going to add my foils right there. So I'm doing this because I know from myself that I do not want these foils to be a sticky mess all over the cup. So I just try to do it a little bit at a time. And then just like you saw me apply the adhesive to the cup, that sheet, I'm gonna apply my foils just like that. I'm gonna lay that first little area down and then I'm just gonna allow me, the pressure of me applying the foil to the cup. And you can see I'm gonna kind of reach under there and pull that little flap down. And then I'm just gonna start pressing down with the foils, just like when I was wrapping the cup, I'm gonna do the, basically the same thing. I'm gonna allow the pressure of me applying the foils to the adhesive sheet to peel off the backing. So that way the backings, that, that white sheet's never off. So the foils, I don't wanna take a chance of all those foils sticking to that. So you can see, I just kind of run my finger right back and forth down through there, y'all. If you've seen me vinyl wrap a cup, if you haven't, this is kind of the same process that I do my vinyl wrap. I just usually kind of start on one end. I work very slow, y'all. So I, do, I did speed this up for just a time sake, but I work very slow on these things. Um, I would rather just have it right than have a big sticky mess. Um, I found with myself, when I tend to rush things, that's when I get creases and make a big mess. So when I'm doing these, I really do try to go as slow as I need to go, um, you know, just to make sure I'm getting it on the cup. It's gonna be square. I'm not gonna have a lot of creases in it. So I'd encourage everybody just to go really slow. And then you can see I've finally gotten it all the way back around here. I pulled the backing off. So now I've met the seams there together. So I take this, burn. this is a burnishing stick. You can use your squeegee that you use for your vinyl. I prefer to use this burnishing stick and kind of like a medium pressure. So I do a little bit at a time and I will probably speed this up in a time lapse, but I am gonna show you most of the process just because I want you guys that have not used foils or are having trouble using foils to really see what my process is. I do this a little bit at a time. These foils are so easy release, but what you will find is, is that maybe there's little areas that I didn't press down with my thumb very good. So when you peel this carrier sheet off, I don't peel the whole thing off at one time. I do it a little bit at a time. So that way the rest of it's really stuck, still stuck to the actual foil. So if you have to go back and touch up a little area or there was an area that didn't come off as well, that way you can just lay it right back and it goes right back in the place of where it was, if that makes sense. So I just do a little bit at a time. You can see I'm just pulling it off and I'll do almost probably like an inch at a time, y'all. I'll pull it off. You can see I kind of pull it and then I look and I see like, okay, were there areas that didn't, you know, come off very well? You can see these transfer very, very easy. There's just little tiny places. And y'all, if you've watched me, you know, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. So I do go back over here and I try to get every little piece that I can, um, you know, back on the, on the actual double-sided adhesive. So, and I've just found it's a lot easier to do it is if you just kind of do it as you go. And you can see my carrier sheet here, y'all. There's really nothing on it. I've tried to get every little drop of foil off of there onto that double-sided adhesive. So, and it, sometimes it just takes me a while. Just keep going back over and over and over again. And then once I've got my foils transferred to the cup, I am gonna go into a layer of epoxy. Now, you guys have seen me do quick coat a lot of times. I will seal the foils with quick coat if I use the adhesive, like the brush on adhesive. When I do these double-sided adhesive sheets, I find that it doesn't repel the epoxy with the sheets. It does more with the adhesive. So I'm gonna go into a layer of Countercultures Medium Viscosity. It takes me about 15 milliliters is what I'm gonna use on this cup. I'm just gonna spread it really thin because I wanna layer between between this and then I'm gonna go back in and add my um, Maryland image. So I wanna make sure that there's a layer of epoxy between my foil and then going in and adding the paint to add my water slide. So I'm gonna apply this coat. I use my torch to pop any bubbles and then I'm gonna let this coat dry for about eight hours. It probably didn't need that long, but just cause I didn't want my water slide to stick, I gave it a little extra drying time. Okay, y'all, after that, I am gonna add some white acrylic paint. I've tried several different mediums to make this work. 
I found with this, with the water slide, I wanted to do a little bit of white acrylic paint behind it. So you can see this is just like an apple barrel or folk art. I'm not really sure. It's just a white acrylic paint. I'm just taking basically a paper towel and I'm just kind of giving myself a little background here. I know about how big this image is. You'll see me take the image and lay it over it just to kind of see what's under there. You can do this and then seal it and then go into a layer of epoxy and then add your water slide over it if you wanted to. I wanted a little bit more of a distressed look. I wanted the Maryland watercolor to kind of be of a distressed um, and blend in with what was going on around it with the foil background. So I actually didn't do a layer of epoxy. If you want it to be shiny and crisp and clear, add your acrylic paint. Sometimes you may need to do like two coats of this just so that it's, you know, very transparent or very clear in the back, which will be the background to your water slide. This I wanted a little bit more of distressing. So I just kind of went with just doing it right over the acrylic paint because that was the kind of look I was going for. If you want something, like I said, that's, you know, basically stark white behind your um, water slide, add, you know, a couple of layers of your acrylic paint and then do a layer of epoxy and then add your water slide over it. And here I'm just taking a little sponge and just doing a little touch up around the edges. And then I'm going to go in and after I've let this dry, I let it dry for... I don't know, probably an hour, y'all. And then I've taken my water slide and it's been sitting in the water here. It didn't look like it, but there, <laughs> I did let it sit in there. And because I had pulled it out, I just dipped it back in there. And you can see I do my water slides face down. So this image doesn't really matter, but if I'm doing it normally and you've got words on it, then I reverse the image and do them that way so I can lay them face down. I like doing them this way better than pulling the backing out from under it. That's just my preference. You definitely can do it either way. Um, that's just kind of how I prefer to lay my water slides down. I found that when I put it face down, I don't have an issue with like the ink smearing or anything like that. I had a little bit of trouble here just because I'm just putting it right over the paint of getting it perfect, but y'all can see I'm being super, super careful. I was like really trying not to um, get my image messed up here because I wanted this one so bad on this cup. I didn't want to have to reprint it. So I just take my paper towel here, y'all, and I just wet it. You can see I've wet the paper towel and I'm running that over it. So, and just kind of pressing that down. So just kind of getting all the water out of it. And I just, if I found that using a wet paper towel, you could use like a wet squeegee, a wet sponge, um, your silicone brush, whatever seems to work for you. A wet paper towel seems to work well for me um, of just getting the bubbles out from underneath and then not, you know, tearing the image. And then after I get this flush on the cup and all the water bubbles out, I'm going to go in with my craft knife and I'm just going to trim off the edges. I just didn't want it to be so blunt and square on the cup. I wanted it to blend in a little bit better. So just those square edges that of the water slide, I'm just going to go in and kind of trim them off kind of around her face just so you don't have that actual kind of square look on the cup. And after I let the cup dry for about an hour, I do go in with a Mod Podge Clear Acrylic Sealer Spray. And I sprayed uh, two coats of the Mod Podge. I let it dry for about 30 minutes and then sprayed another coat. I apologize, I didn't record it. But it's just the Mod Podge Clear Acrylic Sealer that I did spray over it before I go into a layer of epoxy just to protect my water slide. And then after I let that dry, I'm going in with a layer of Countercultures Medium Viscosity Artist Resin. I use about 15 milliliters here just to give it a good coat before I'm going to go in with my, um, with my uh, power wash. And I'm going to do that over this layer. So I do let this layer dry really good because I've kind of found that my power wash, if I don't love it, you can wipe it off with, <laughs> with um, rubbing alcohol, but you've got to have a really good dry coat of epoxy. So this one I actually did let dry for a full eight hours, and I think even maybe overnight. Um, but I'm just going to apply this layer of epoxy. I'm going to use my torch to pop any bubbles, and then I let it dry. 
Then after that coat's dry, I'm going in with my Dawn and I'm just kind of making sure that I cover up the Marilyn image. So I really wanna make sure that I don't get any of the gold spray paint on her face. So I'm gonna kind of do it in a like a like just a random pattern throughout the rest of the cup, but then I'm gonna use really the power wash to cover up her face. So you can kind of see here, and then I'm just lightly spraying around where her face is. So if there does get some on there, it's not a full coverage. And you can kind of see, I'm just kind of making sure that I don't get it on her face um, on that image, but I get it around that. And then I'm making sure to cover the bottom as well. Then I'm gonna rinse that off. And then you're gonna have your power wash. So you can see here where I've kind of left the area around her face open. I just wanted to break up those edges a little bit and then add that gold accent. And this is just a Rust-Oleum 2X metallic gold spray paint that I used on this. Um, and then I let that dry for, a, I let it dry overnight. You can just let it dry as long as you can just to the touch, basically. And then I'm going to go in here with Countercultures Quick Coat, and it's a urethane sealer. I'm going to add a coat of this so my epoxy won't repel. So you can see I just kind of use my glove to just rub a thin coat over this. It takes very little. Um, and then I'm going to let that dry for, it usually takes about 30 minutes to an hour. And then I'm going to go in with my final coat here of Countercultures Medium Viscosity Artist Resin here. And I'm, it only takes, I'm doing multiple cups at the time, y'all. So, but it only takes about 15 to 20 milliliters here of our, the medium viscosity. And I'm going to use my torch to pop any bubbles. And then I'll let this coat dry. And then we're going to have our final design. So I love how it turned out. I've been wanting to do this metallic gold over the Dixie Darlings foil for a while now. And this just brought it all together. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed the tutorial, please hit the bell button and subscribe so you don't miss my future tutorials. Thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see y'all again soon.